Hey scrappers, I know it seems like I fell off the end of the earth for the last couple of weeks between family emergencies, getting the house ready to sell, getting the shark cage ready to move out. It's just been insane. So how about if we dive in and break something down? Let's get back to it, huh? Come on. We're gonna start out with this thing, Shimazu. I have no idea what that is. So come on, let's dive in and find out. So here we are, Shimazu. I don't have any idea what this is. Let's see, it says Power HD. Uh, medical systems, that's always a good sign. All right, well, we certainly have plenty of screws that don't want to play. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. <clears throat> so this is definitely Japanese uh, and they have a different standard Phillips head screwdriver or screw so I think what I might be experiencing here is that these are Japanese standard Phillips heads and we'll get back to you so we're just going to do these by hand and my nose is running I think pollen is we've had a really heavy pollen year I mean just things coated in green yellow dust blankets and stuff and such so it could just be the pollen we'll see <clears throat> or it could just be the dust in here because i've been doing a lot of sweeping and things all right very cool very cool insides here let's see what do you aluminum we'll have to get that screw out of there but that's all right we'll deal with that in a little bit And we'll get some ribbon wire out of here. I've noticed uh, a couple of comments from folks about cutting the ends off ribbon wires, uh, cutting the ends off wires, period. Um, I believe it was Mike who said that uh, his yard is now requiring that he cut the ends off, or they have a different price, and the price when the ends are on is much less. So far, my non-ferrous yard is fine with me leaving the ends on and i probably only have one or two deliveries left to, to do with these guys so we might we might survive look at that isn't that an interesting kind of plug very interesting Where do you want to come out? Well, if you don't want to play, we're just going to cut ya. Cut ya! So some of these, some of these plugs are, have got a little bit of glue to hold them in place. Uh, they must have been really worried about things coming loose. That's medical equipment, so you sort of expect that level. Wow, look at that. It's a ram stick, it only has two ICs on it, but it had room for all kinds of ICs. It's still a gold ram stick. Well, that, that one's out, that's out. Uh, oh, those do, do not go all the way, those are not screws going all the way through. Let's see if we can just get them loose and then spin them off of there without having to get a socket set.
All right, now we got that bracket out of the way. That looks like ferrous. Yep. Yep. Man, things are moving fast now with houses on the market. We've had two open houses. We've had showings. And of course, it's just a terrible, terrible time to be living in the house because you can't, you got to clean up after everything because you got to be ready for showings. And stuff is put away, so between my wife and I going, hey, where's such and such? It's just like we're always looking for stuff that used to just be right there. I had to shut down the studio. I might be bringing the studio back up now. Now that we've had the open houses, I think I can get the studio put back together for live streams. Just, just, just been a really crazy time, right? Yes, and any of you that have bought or sold houses, you know, you know what it's like. All right, man, 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 come on, wire. All right. Now then, this card has got gold fingers going into a back plane. And it is not screwed in here anywhere. Uh, I've got screws there. I don't think I have to get those out to get this board out. Well, I might have to. Hmm. Might be this screw here that's all stripped out that is causing some problem. <clears throat> Um, we may have to go in through the side. Go in that way. That's what I'm thinking I might have to do here. Right now I'm trying to figure out how to get a grab of that nut. There we go. out of the way. This is trash. Get that other screw off of there. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Now, can I get a bit in there. Let's see. Let's see if we can get in here now. Alright. I think that did it. Yay! Wow, that is a really nice board. It's like a small motherboard, except it does not have a socket. All right, got you out of there. Let's get the battery off of here. And let's get that heat sink off of that. So that is a very nice board. We have gold fingers, so I can always put this in the gold finger bin to sell, the board sort. But we have some nice IC flat packs, gold cornered BGA, another BGA, a bunch of ICs, MOSFETs, gold plated pins and pin connectors, nothing on the back. I gotta think about what I'm gonna do with that. What do you all think? What would you do with that? All right, that's just connectors, so I'm gonna free you guys up.
aluminum heatsink, more wire. We have a ram stick here, another ram stick. That's tin silver. So that's a different price at boardsort.com, tin silver ram. Do, 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 do. Ah. Screw here. I think that's it for screw. And then that comes off like that. Wow, that's another nice board. I'll let you look at that while I take the bracket off of it. I'm thinking Telcom High. A lot of ICs there, pretty densely populated. Socket mounted IC there, some big flat pack ICs along with all the other ICs. So I'm, I'm pretty comfortable throwing that in with my telecom boards. Power board. That's just a low grade power board. And we'll get some wire off of here. And get this back plane board off of here. Now that's going to be aluminum, just like that was. But I've got some cleaning I have to do here because we have we have these risers, and we'll see if these risers pop off easily. Ugh. Yeah, they don't want to come out too easily, but maybe with a little a little more leverage that might pop off easily. Let's see, was that Ferris? Let's check. Those are aluminum, they don't have to come off anyway. So I need to get that fuse off of there, get that black bracket off of there. Now we'll just go around and make sure that we get all the ferrous bits off of here. And then that can go in with the sheet aluminum. cast aluminum there. The we'll check and make sure those aren't brass. But all right, so put that over there. Let's get all this stuff out of the way. The little metal screws and things. Things. That's the technical term. Things. All right, so this back plane board, not much to it. I'm going to throw it in with my mid grades. And we have a hard drive here. Ooh, that's an ID pin hard drive. Let's see, is this aluminum? This is aluminum too, so let's get that floppy out of there. Floppy drive. All right, more sheet aluminum. Shred. And You are an ID pin, so we're going to take the board off because the board is valuable enough that it's worth that little bit of time right there to take that off. We'll sell that to board sort like that, and this will go get sold to my local yard as a hard drive, no board. That was a really interesting scrap. I think that was a lot of fun as a way to get back into it with y'all. 
I have no idea what the next few weeks are going to be like. It's going to be insane. I do know that much. Between moving and dealing with a family emergency that's a few states away, everything is just crazy right now. So I really appreciate you all hanging in there with me and being patient. I'm going to get videos up as much as I can as we go through this. Uh, and so <laughs> hang in there, folks. Can't wait to get settled into our new place. We'll see you all next one.